Hello everyone! In this week's video, I'm going to be showing three ways to color hair with color pencils. For this video, I'll be using a variety of color pencil brands. The techniques I'm using should work with pretty much any brand. If I can, I will give the exact color names of the colors I use, but you do not have to use the exact same colors as me. Anyways, let's get started! Also, I've been sick, so I probably sound sick. <laughs> For this first one, we only need two colors, a lighter color and a darker color. I'm using lavender for my lighter color and lilac for my darker color. I start by outlining where I want the highlight to go. I make it wider on the sides and get thinner in the middle. The highlight makes the hair look shiny. Now I fill in the hair with the light color. I leave the highlight area white. This way of coloring hair is very simple and quick compared to other methods I will show. It may be nice if you are a beginner or want something simple. I try my best to keep the coloring smooth. I move my pencil in slightly circular motions and don't press too hard on the pencil. Now I use the darker color to color the underside of the hair. I press pretty hard on the pencil. Next, I'm going to use my lighter color and break the highlight into sections. I like the way this makes the highlight look. For this next one, I am using four colors. A dark color, middle color, light color, and white. My darkest color is peacock blue, my middle color doesn't have a name, but it's a darker teal, and my lightest color is light aqua. I start by using my lightest color to plan out where I want the coloring to go. I start by coloring lightly. I leave an area white for the highlight like with the other hair, but this time the coloring fades into the highlight. When coloring, I try to remember the direction the hair is flowing. I add coloring to where the strands of hair go. I'm going to make this hair have two rows of highlights, one for the top and one by the bottom. I color in this middle area where there is no highlight. I leave some space white and then add more coloring to the tips of the hair. When coloring, I'll press a little harder at the ends and then press lighter as I move towards the highlight. That way the coloring fades smoothly. Next, I'm going to use my middle color to darken the coloring. I apply the middle color to the hair part and at the tips of the hair. Like with the light color, I lighten the pressure on my pencil as I get closer to the highlight. I also darken the area between the two rows of highlight. Now I go back to my light color to blend the colors.
This time I am pressing a little harder on the pencil to blend the middle color into the lighter color. I am going in with my middle color to add a little more shading. Now let's repeat the process for the rest of the hair. I don't know why I fully colored that side first. <laughs> Now that I've applied the middle color to the hair, I use my lighter color to blend. I press with medium pressure on the pencil. I try my best to keep the highlight white and to fade the colors into the highlight. I color this area pretty dark. This will help the highlight look even brighter. Next I take my darkest color and color the underside of the hair. I apply medium pressure to the pencil. Next I color the underside with my middle color. I am pressing pretty hard on the pencil. I use my darkest color to deepen the coloring. I press pretty lightly on the pencil. Next I'm going to keep switching between my colors to blend the colors until I am satisfied. Next I use white to help blend the colors into the highlight. I press pretty hard on the pencil. For this next method, I am showing how to color hair that fades from one color to a different color. In this case, it's from pink to purple. The colors I am using are white, lavender, hot pink, pink, and the last one doesn't have a name, but is kind of a peachy pink color. I start by coloring with the peachy pink color. I start by coloring lightly and leave white space for the highlight. This one will only have one row of highlight at the top. I color very lightly by the bottom of the bangs and highlight because that is where it will start to fade to the other color. I add more coloring by the hair part and fade it out towards the highlight. Now I'm going to use pink. I press harder in the middle of where I want the pink to go and press lighter towards the edges. This will help it easily fade into the other colors. Now I go back in with the peachy pink to blend the colors. Next I use hot pink. Once again I color darker in the middle of where I want the hot pink to go and color lighter at the edges. I 
I go back in with pink to help blend the colors. Now I use lavender at the tips of the hair. I press harder on the pencil by the tips of the hair and lighten the pressure as I move up. Now that I've mapped out where I want the colors, I move my way back up. This time pressing a little harder than I did before. I go back to hot pink. I also add a little shading by the strands of the hair. I use half pink and lavender for the underside of the hair. I press pretty hard on the pencils. Lastly, I use white to help blend the colors into the highlight. Before I end this video, I want to say thank you so much to my patrons, including Rachel, Pia, Pisa Terra, Magic Gamer Dad, Julie, Daniel, Cash Money Matt, Eduardo, Robert, Vani, Tamalam, Stephanie, Narichan, AJ, Volren, and Anne. Thank you so much for being a patron and for your support. Well, thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all next week in my next video. Bye!